Welcome to a walkthrough for creating a registration form for a Microsoft Teams online meeting or an event. To accomplish this, we're going to leverage Microsoft Forms, which is part of Office 365, and we'll create for each training event or each meeting a new registration template customized for that session, and users that click to join the meeting will first load the form enter in their registration information, submit, and then click to open the meeting. So let's take a look at how we can do this. I've already created a template for a registration form, and I can click this link to use that template. I'll choose to duplicate that form, and this copies the form into my forms in, in my Office 365 tenant and I can get started. So I'll enter the information so from my worksheet I know the title and let's go grab the description Now I know that I don't need all of these forms for my particular event, so I can remove some of them. Now I'm left with first name, last name, and email address. <clears throat> you may have just the email address as an example for your form. Maybe you just want to track all the users that have joined via email. But in this case I want to grab all this information and what I need to do is go into the settings and I want to leverage a custom thank you message so this checkbox must be checked and then we're going to set up a URL that will reference the actual link to the Microsoft Teams event and I don't have that yet we're gonna go go and create that get the link uh, but here's where we'll paste it in so we'll leave it up for now and go over to Outlook and I'm going to create a new event a new meeting Microsoft Teams meeting and we will use our um, title and description should still be in the clipboard and if there's any other information that you want to post you can do that but what we're doing here is we're creating a Microsoft Teams meeting but we don't want to send this invitation to the actual users who will be joining the event and the reason is because Microsoft has built some great integration between Microsoft Teams and various other services like Outlook where you can click a single button to join. Now this is really useful for many events, but we don't want this for our particular use case. We want users to be forced to click this join link to get to our form and then get to the meeting. So we're going to create a second uh, meeting. In this case, just a meeting. We're not going to use the Teams meeting. So we're going to we'll look at both of these side by side. And the one on the right is the official Microsoft Teams meeting invitation. And the left will be the meeting invite that we're actually going to send. Now this could be sent via newsletter or other means. It doesn't have to be a meeting invite. But this is going to have the link that we want our users to use. So I'm going to duplicate a lot of the information and I'm just going to copy and paste everything in the message and paste that here. Now what you'll notice is I need, I'm going to need to change this link. This is where we start getting and we'll go back to the form. So we're going to grab the URL for this Join Microsoft Teams meeting and I'm going to copy the hyperlink right click to copy that and go back to our form 
and this is where I'm going to paste the link to go to the Teams meeting. And then I want to click Share. And then I'm going to need this link. But first I want to save some of this in my worksheet, just so I have it. I'll paste that. So now I have, this is the link where users go to the meeting, and then I want to get the form link. So I'm going to copy this. This is a link to the Microsoft Forms instance for this particular training. Copy that. And we'll paste that here. So now I have all of my required information. So bring that back to the invites. And we'll see that the meeting on the left, what I'm going to need to do is change this link to uh, point it to the Microsoft form. So as I right click, I'm going to edit hyperlink. And as you can see, this link previously pointed to Teams. So this is, we're going to delete that and paste in our link to the form. So it now says forms.microsoft.com. Now you could change any other information, but I'm going to leave it as is. And then I will add a location. So my audience knows what they're doing. Uh, for this particular one on the right, I'm going to invite myself just so I have it on my calendar. And then for the uh, meeting that's going out to folks, I'm going to send it to all employees. You could send it to whatever group that you want to invite the training or the event for. Uh, and then that's it. So we're going to save this one on the right, which goes just to my calendar as the event organizer. And then the one on the left is going out to all of the users who we want to invite to training. And then I've logged in as a second user, Christine in this case. So let's take a look at her Outlook. And she has received this invitation to join the meeting, the Contoso Electronics Training. She, you can RSVP just like you would any other meeting. And then here's the link to join the event. So as I'm about to join, I'll click this link. And you can see we mouse over and look in the very lower left forms.microsoft.com. Let's click that to join. This launches the form, so Christine will fill this out. And enter an email. Now when I click submit, we're going to get routed to our, our custom link. This is our thank you page. And now we're able to join the the uh, actual Microsoft Teams event. Now, as a best practice, you may want to uh, create a shortened version of this URL. So you can use various server services to, to create short URLs. It may make it look much nicer. But in this case, I am going to use the full URL. Let's click on that. And I am going to just continue in the browser just for this demonstration here because I have multiple users logged in in, the, in this machine. Continue without audio and you can see now uh, and I'll, I'll need to sign in. This is purely because I'm using the browser. So here we have it. The user has um, joined the training or clicks here to join and I've done it by first going through a registration form, adding any required information, clicking submit, and then another link to take me directly to the meeting. Switching back to the role of the meeting organizer, once the event concludes, we can go back to our form and we can look at the data that's been saved. So let's switch to Microsoft Forms. When we've opened up the specific registration form for this event. And we can look at the responses tab. This is going to show you all of the different entries for the different folks that have joined this event. And then we can further open this in Excel. In our particular demo, we had one user who joined.
but you will see all the entries for the users that have joined this event. So I appreciate your time in looking at this workaround. Good luck in your events, and thank you very much.